I know that life with a ventilator may seem daunting, and to me, to be honest, it is. But with technology and care, it can actually enable us to live a rich, fulfilling life. Just look at Steve Greeson, look at Eddie Brock, and look at so many others. Two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with ALS. As you can hear in my voice, it is progressing. At the time I was diagnosed, the last thing I wanted to hear from my doctor was any discussion about the later stages of ALS, be that a feeding tube, a trach, ventilation, whatever they may be. I wanted to pretend like I would remain the same person I was that day forever. Fast forward two and a half years and I'm sitting in this chair right now. And to be honest with you, I still don't want to hear about the end stages of ALS, but it's important that I do and it's important that I talk about them because the more I know and the earlier I choose what I want to do, the better my health outcomes can actually be. What is amazing is that technology today provides more options than ever before for those who are living with ALS. One area where there's been a lot of growth is in the options available to us on the respiratory front, because ultimately that will be an issue for each and every one of us. And that choice, that power should be in your hands. So I'm coming to you today to ask you to educate yourself, to ask you to talk to your doctor about these options and do it early. Do it with your caregiver, do it with your family so that you're all aligned on this together because it is our lives, it should be our choice.